Welcome back to Anfield Index TV. I'm Nina Cows, and today's hot topic is Mohamed Salah. Now, I saw a lot of tweets after the Paris Saint-Germain game about Mo Salah, how his attitude isn't right, how he's been dreadful, how he needs to be hooked and he needs to be rested for Southampton. But Mo Salah being Mo Salah, of course, got um, the goal against Southampton, putting those critics, answering those critics. So if you, I mean, naturally, when I saw those tweets, I was lost for words, but I've got plenty of shit to say on the matter. So if you want to know my thoughts, just keep watching. Now, I think when it comes to Mo Salah, I think a lot of people expected him to kind of pick up where he left off last season. Breaking all those records, that was humanly possible. He had an insane season. Probably one of the best seasons that you can have as a, as a new player. You know, everyone fell in love with him. Naturally so. But I think people casually forget the fact that he got injured in that Champions League final. He got rushed by Egypt to play in that World Cup. He looked off in that World Cup. And then let's not forget the ongoing drama that he's still involved with, with the Egyptian FA. Are we going to conveniently forget all this? He's human, people. I know, I know we call him Magic Mob, but he is human. So just chill and let him be. Now we're going to break it down with some stats. So, Mo Salah. Where was Mo Salah this time last season? Six games in into the Premier League. What was he doing? I've got some numbers for you and I've got some stats. So this time last season, he had four goals and two assists in the Premier League. Not bad, not bad. So where is he this season? Because he's been absolutely shocking and he's been dreadful and we've got to hook him. He's just not good enough and his attitude stinks. So where is Mo Salah right here, right now? Well, I can confirm he has three goals and two assists. So literally... Everyone is losing their shit over one goal. One goal in comparison to last season. And it's worth noting, last season in September, the front three were not connecting at all. Not at all. So, isn't it great that we're sat here, six games in, with those wins, unbeaten. Everyone else is sort of picking up, doing the work for Mosler, letting him naturally adjust. Also worth remembering, the next four games last season that Liverpool had, the next four big four games, um, he managed to register just one goal. So it just goes to show, as incredible as he was last season, he did have sort of drop off in, in, in form. So I just say, just let him be. I think what's happening with Marcelo right now is people are looking at the goal scoring and the tally. And are we going to conveniently forget that? Yeah, um, Jurgen Klopp loves the striker to score goals. The front three were absolutely devastating. One of the best attacks in Europe. But are we going to forget that he worked his backside off against Paris Saint-Germain? That's where all the grumbles started. He worked his backside off. I remember him pressing. I mean, I was at the game and so many were. His um, off-the-ball movement really impressed me. Against Spurs, he was taking on two and three players. He was doing everything you could possibly imagine a striker do, a Jurgen Klopp striker to do. Yes, his finishing was off, but if a player is off form, like so many of you are suggesting, he's out of form, his touch is awful. If he's so out of form, he does not have the confidence to do that. He can't do that. Yet the shooting was uh, is a little off and has been a little off, but I feel like it's all biased. Are we going to forget the fact that Sadio Mane's decision-making against Spurs was probably worse than Mo Salah's? Are we going to forget that? Is it a bias? Because obviously right now, Sadio Mane has had the more impressive season and rightly so. He has. He's been incredible. This time last season, I remember loads of people sort of saying, Sadio Mane has been dreadful because we had a new toy in Mo Salah. I feel like a lot of it is bias and the bias is based heavily around goals and goal scoring. And if you don't take my word for it, and you, you know that's absolutely fair and you can totally, you know, disagree with me you would be wrong well Jurgen Klopp has come out and spoken about Mo Salah and said he's absolutely fine he's perfect he's worked brilliantly he he's off the ball um his defensive work his off the ball work is absolutely incredible so it's not just me it's the manager as well I feel like we just need to get off the guy's back just let him enjoy his football like he was doing against Southampton he scored that goal it was magnificent isn't it great as well that Mo Salah can adjust can settle can settle in and just be that kind of player that he was last season. I mean, personally, I don't expect him to break every record because I feel like that is 
freaky and if you think that he's going to do that you're mad but quite happy for him to score 20 goals all season I'll take that all day long and um, I feel right now we are six games in we are on top of the league because Chelsea have not played yet we are six games in we are unbeaten we are on top of the league and more importantly everyone else is chipping in everyone else is scoring goals I don't know about you guys but I'm quite happy knowing that we're not a one-man attack like goals can literally come from anywhere I mean you know Joel Matip got in on the action it's fucking great I don't understand the problem there's a, my point being there's absolutely nothing wrong with Mohamed Salah so just chill the fuck out and just let him be right guys so that was my thoughts on Mohamed Salah let me know your thoughts comment down below um, let's have a conversation let's have a discussion I want to know your thoughts do you think he should be dropped do you think he needs rested do you, just let me know and whilst I still have your attention please do check out AI Pro there is so much great content I will put the link here down below great content as I said the king and AI Kenny Dalglish talking about Liverpool of, of um, a bygone era speaking about Liverpool right now of course with his son Paul Dalglish with Eddie Gibbs the brilliant host doing it for a great cause the marina Dalglish appeal so do check that out also there's so many other great shows like under pressure you know the real real highbrow stuff the highbrow stats where i get all my little numbers from so do check that out also i was on ai pro as well i did the euro incision podcast where we kind of look back at the champions league games i will be doing that all season speaking to some of the best journalists so guys thank you so much for watching whilst you're here please subscribe i will be back next week with another video. Till next time, get off Moore's back and up the Reds. Thank you.